Hi, I'm Marissa from Beautifully Organized and today I want to share with you a simple morning routine that worked really, really well in our house when I had one baby and one toddler. So I recently saw a mum on Facebook ask, how do you handle mornings with a baby and a toddler? She was saying that she tried to get up early to get some me time in, but the kids just woke up. As soon as she woke up, it's like the kids had a radar or they could hear her footsteps or something. And she just never got any time for herself. And so her version of me time was only being able to kind of go on her phone when the kids were slightly distracted. And she felt like then she was on her phone too much and she wasn't spending quality time with the kids, but she was also feeling really, really burnt out and exhausted. And yeah, I know how that feels. I think heaps of us know how that feels. So I've got a couple of things that we used to do that made life a lot easier for me. So I thought I'd share them with you guys in case they help. I think the best overall tip I have is to simplify your mornings as much as possible because the more simple it is the easier it is to kind of get into a rhythm with it and that rhythm makes all the difference did you just hear that truck go past awkward so yeah i followed the same morning routine pretty much for a couple of years and that was the first thing I did when I woke up in the morning was make my bed as soon as I got out of it because then right after that point every time I walked into my room it was like my little haven you know the bed was made it was like my space that I could kind of just retreat to if I needed to and it always looked nice because the bed was the first thing I made in the morning so I'd make the bed as soon as I get up and then the next thing I would focus on was breakfast because when the kids wake up they're, they're starving and you can't do anything else when you've got hungry kids around because it's really hard to focus when they're hungry and they're either quiet, crying or whining or, you know, kid, kids are kids. I'm, I get angry when I'm hungry, so they did too. So, you know, I would make the breakfast and eat it with them so that I didn't miss out either. So we'd all um, sit together. The toddler would be in the toddler chair. The baby would be in the high chair, you know, once they hit around six months and could sit up. And then I would sit at the table too and we'd all eat together. And that was like a little moment and everyone was in arm's reach so I could kind of manage breakfast. Um, if I found um, the kids were hungry while I was trying to make breakfast, then you can kind of cheat and just give them a little piece of cheese while they're waiting or cut up a banana and give them some banana while they're waiting or, you know, a couple of slices of cucumber or something, you know, I would, I would cheat and I would give them little bits of food um, while I was getting them everything else ready. So either during the breakfast prep while I was making breakfast, I would make lunch as well or right after breakfast when their tummies were full, that was even easier. That's when I'd make lunch and I would make lunch for everybody. So even though at that point when I had a baby and toddler, I was, I was an at home mum. Like I did a little bit of, you know, YouTube and stuff like that, but basically I was at home um, all day with them. So I didn't have to make lunch first thing in the morning, but man, it made my life easier. So right after breakfast or during, if I could, if I could make that work, like during the prep, but usually it was right after everybody ate, the kids were a little more content then because their tummies were full. So that's when they would either play or watch a show or I could put the baby down for a little sleep. You know, you can, you can get more done when a kid, when kids have full tummies because they're a lot more content and they're not looking for you to help them with comfort at that time. So that's when I would make lunches. I would make, um, well, it depends how old the kids were, but everything from like little bits of finger food to baby food to sandwiches as they got older, um, I would make lunches and put them in lunch boxes. And there was a lunch box for each kid. And then there was a lunch box for me too. And I would put them all in a big bag um, with an ice pack. And then it was just ready to go. So when people got hungry, I didn't have to think about what I was going to feed them. I just reached into the bag and gave them their lunch or their snack. So after the lunches were prepped, so we get up and make the bed, have breakfast together, prep the lunches so you can just grab them easily later. Once the lunches were done, that's when the kids were kind of like, mom, mom, they were back to that. So that's when we would do all the getting dressed and ready for the day. So it was just put the, it was like nappy changes, put outfits on, brush hair, brush teeth, put shoes on. Basically, I wanted to get the kids ready so that if we had to go quickly, everyone was dressed and able to do so. So yeah, that made life easier too. So make the bed, make breakfast, make the lunches, then get everybody ready. That pretty much took all the way up to like 9, 30, 10 o'clock in the morning anyway. Now at that point, all of my must-do jobs to keep the household kind of like all the people running smoothly were done. So that's when I was like, okay, now, Mum can sit and chill for a bit. Let's play a game. Let's read a book. Let's watch a show together. We could do something. Let's play with Play-Doh, even though I don't really love Play-Doh because it smells funny. But, you know, if the kids like Play-Doh, 
I'll give it a go. But that's when I could kind of have some chill time with them. Actually, I also, if the kids were playing nicely by themselves, then I would cheat and I wouldn't do it with them, but I would quickly go and put a load of washing on because I knew I could hang it later then, a couple of hours later, and it would just get washed while we were then chilling together. Okay, so that took us to around about 11-ish, and that's when we would have out and about time. So I'd load the baby and the toddler into the car, put my big bag with the lunch boxes in it in the car as well, take my nappy bag as well, and we would just go out somewhere super easy. We'd either go to a local park, um, or more often than not, we went down to the local shopping center. It was a five minute drive. It had a parent's room that had um, like a toy section for the kids, um, and it was air conditioned, and there was plenty of space, and we could just kind of window shop, and you know, sometimes there was activities for the kids to do as well. Basically, it got me out of the house and it got them out of the house and it just broke the day up then into two different sections. So you'd have your morning at home and then your out and about time. And because we had the lunch boxes with us, I could then feed the kids while we were out and it didn't cost a fortune. And then after lunch, I'd like take them into the parent room and we'd do the nappy changes and then I'd put them in the car and then we'd drive home. And since we got home, that was nap time. So yeah. That was easier. I could just, if they fell in the car, if they fell in the car, if they fell asleep in the car, it didn't matter because I could just pick them up and put them in the cot because they were already, yeah, already ready. Sometimes I would cheat even more and I would feed the kids in the parent room. And I know that sounds gross to some people, but the parent rooms in the shopping center that we live near had dedicated spaces for food preparation and then changing and feeding and then separate for toys. Um, and they were really clean. And you know, we're mums, we always take wipes with us anyway, right? Um, and there was a TV in there. So you could just, if I had to give the baby a bottle and my toddler had finished eating and wanted to go play, I could just kind of put them in that little playpen area and they would play with the toys while I fed the baby. And so, yeah, made it nice and easy and air conditioned. So yeah, so then we'd go back home, I'd put the kids down for their naps and then if I had energy, I would hang that washing then that I'd already washed earlier um, and then I would take care of any dishes that needed doing. Uh, but some days I was just exhausted too. So I would just go and try and have a little nap or relax or watch a show or do something. Um, because let's face it, there's always gonna be more laundry to do and more dishes to wash and I could do that in the afternoon too. Or you can do that when your partner comes home if you've got a partner and you actually get to escape then <laughs> under the guise of I'm hanging washing. You default parent while well, I go and do that. Um, so you didn't ha I didn't have to do that when we got home, but sometimes I did because that made the afternoon a bit easier. So yeah, that was how I handled my mornings with a baby and a toddler. Um, I hope that you found this video helpful. Uh, if you did, hit the like button and make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.